Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel. This is Naman and I'm finally back with another video. So I know I've not been consistent with my videos in the past couple of months and I'm really sorry for that. It's just that I was really busy with work. But now I am back at it. I'm gonna try posting videos on a regular basis. And yes, the sneaker I'm gonna talk about today is one of the most famous sneakers in today's world. You've already seen the box, you've already seen the title and thumbnail. The sneaker is New Balance 5. 50. So, New Balance 550s have been getting a lot of fame the last one and a half years and we haven't seen the official release of these sneakers in India yet and that's quite disappointing to be very honest though I would want to request New Balance just in case if you guys are watching the video that it's time that India also get these amazing sneakers so please do release the sneakers because when I got these sneakers in hand, I posted a photo on my story on my Instagram channel and yeah, here is my Instagram channel name. So do follow me over there. I do post quite regularly over there. And yeah, when I posted the photo of these on my Instagram channel, I had a lot of people, uh, you know, message me asking where did I get these sneakers from? How much did I pay for it? How can they buy these sneakers and all of that. So I will be answering all of those questions in this video. So please watch the video till the end. Alright, so before I get into all of the stuff about buying, sizing, comfort and all, let's quickly deep dive into this particular silhouette here. So, it is New Balance 550, the official colors are Sea Salt, Varsity, Gold. Sea Salt being this beige and the whitish color they have given on the shoe, Varsity Gold being this yellow things that you can see on the sneaker. Now starting with the toe area, as you can see they have used beige suede material on the tip of the sneaker which to be very honest is not that soft as we used to see on other new balance sneakers maybe because this is how they used to use when these sneakers were originally released in 1980s and behind this beige so material they have used white leather which to be honest is one of the best quality leathers i've seen in a very long time now coming to the sides on the side here you can see 550 being written in the yellow color beneath that you can see they have used perforated leather which goes from the starting of the eye stay till the back tab. Above that perforated leather, we have got this N sign in this university gold or the yellow color, which is quite nice, squishy kind of material that they have used. I really like the fact that they have given this yellow hint on this N sign because they have got a lot of New Balance 550s out there in which they have gone with a plain white color. Talking about the color, they have used the same color on this lower side tab, which goes all the way towards the back which is kind of like a boundary that they have given to the midsole and talking about the back they have got this NB logo in the same yellow color they have used the same yellow color on the outside of the sneaker as well which you can see is a little dirty because i've already worn the sneakers once because i wanted to try these sneakers out before i review them because i wanted to make sure that i give the right review of the sneakers and also was really excited to get these sneakers and just couldn't wait to put the sneakers on feet Alright, so now let's come on to the section which I'm sure a lot of people would be waiting for. How did I get these sneakers, how much did I pay for it and how you can get these sneakers for yourself. So first of all, I bought these sneakers from StockX but I did not get them delivered to India. I got them delivered to a US address. So one of my aunt were traveling to US, I checked with her and she was okay. So I got them delivered to an address where she was living. And uh, obviously, you know, delivering to a US address is much cheaper. Then delivering it to India because when you are buying a sneaker from StockX, getting it delivered to India, first of all, you have to pay a higher delivery charge, second, you have to pay custom duties. But when you get a sneaker from StockX, get it delivered to a US address, the delivery charge is very minimal and you don't have to pay any custom charges as well because obviously StockX is based out of US, so they do not charge any custom duties to get a sneaker to their home country right and now talking about the pricing here so i have got the StockX bill i saved the bill because i wanted to show it to you guys so that you can understand a little better now quick how to buy sneakers from StockX. so basically when you go to a StockX website you have an option to search in search you can just type the name of the sneaker you can just type the name of the silhouette for example you can type new balance 550 once you do that all the new balance 550s that are available will come down you can scroll you can select the one that you want like i selected this one after that you have to select your size and there are two options that are going to come buy or bid or sell or ask now 
over there when I went for this one, I think the buy price was coming for one. Uh, 40, 140 dollars, but obviously you have an option to bid and because I had a few days extra with me So I went ahead and I made a bid of 130 dollars and after a couple of days the seller Accepted my bid. I received a notification that my bid has been accepted and It will be delivered in some few days. So 130 was a dollar amount that the bid was accepted at on the top of that, I paid $14.15 for sales tax, I paid $7.80 for processing fee and $14.95 for shipping. So the total came out to be $166.90, $167 .90, to round it off and I ended up paying around 13,500 rupees because uh, the dollar price was anywhere around 77 to 78 at that time. I got these in June. Now the dollar price has increased, it has reached to $80. So obviously the price of the sneakers have increased as well. So now the benefit of me ordering these sneakers or getting them delivered to a US address is that my sales tax and processing fee remains the same even if you get them delivered to anywhere you know in the world. But the shipping charges from $14.95 are increased to $40 if you're getting them delivered to India. And on the top of that you have to pay anywhere around 20% custom duty charges as well. So the shoe that has costed me $167, I would have ended up paying around $190 and $120 on that. So I would have ended up paying around eighteen to 19,000 rupees for this. So basically I ended up saving around 6,000 rupees and uh, it's just that I had to wait a little longer because obviously you have to wait when uh, your relatives are coming back. So this is how you can also order sneakers. I mean, this is the best possible way to order sneakers from, uh, you know, StockX from US. That if anybody is traveling to US, uh, check with them if they're okay. Order the sneaker from StockX. It's pretty simple. If not from StockX, you can do it from Goat as well. They are a little, relatively a little faster, but a little pricier as well from StockX. And uh, yeah, they can easily bring it back. That is one way. If not that way, if you feel that you do not have anybody living in US, if there is nobody traveling to US, then you can always get them delivered to India. But keep in mind that you will have to pay at least five to six thousand rupees extra, which to be honest doesn't make sense to me because though it is a great sneaker, I love the silhouette, I love how it looks on feet, but I still feel that thirteen thousand or fifteen thousand is the maximum price I would want to pay for these shoes. Uh, because this is a non-collaborative shoes, if there would have been Army Leon or collaboration, I would have, you know, probably gone up to 20, 25,000 as well. But for a non-collab sneaker, I feel 15,000 is the maximum price I would want to pay. Uh, but if you guys feel that yes, you can go ahead and you know spend 18, 19, 20,000 rupees, you can obviously do that by ordering it from StockX. If not from StockX, a lot of sneaker resellers in India right now have a lot of different sizes and different colors available of New Balance 550 with them. They are charging anywhere around uh, 17 to 21, 22,000 rupees depending on the colorway. So I would suggest that you can check with these resellers, negotiate a little bit because some of the resellers are really genuine. They do negotiate a little bit and you can try and find these sneakers for anywhere around 17 to 18,000 rupees which might still be okay if you really really want to add these sneakers to your collection you can do that if not then i would suggest wait try and check with your friends with the family members if anybody traveling to us and get these delivered in a, to a us address but keep in mind the whole process of stockx can take up to a week so if there is anybody traveling to us make sure that you order it on time or if you're talking about the sizing here so i am a typical uk 9.5 when it comes to new balance and i ordered them in uk 9.5 and i feel that they fit perfect i do not feel any need to go up a size or down a size i feel that you should go for true to size but uh, sometimes you might not get 0.5 sizes to india so if you do not get 0.5 sizes and if you are a typical uk a then I would suggest go for a UK 9 because it has a little narrow toe so you might need some extra space on the tip of the shoe for a comfortable feel. Apart from that, talking about the comfort here, now these were a typical basketball sneakers back in 1980s and 1990s. So they are quite comfortable, they have a very comfortable insole. In fact, this is 
one of the most comfortable insoles that I've seen in a very long time. I'm not really sure about the fact that you do they have any type of a technology over here in the midsole or not, but the insole itself is very sufficient when it comes to comfort. Alright guys, so let's wrap up the video over here and this was the part A of the Balance 550. Part B will be coming out very soon in which I will be showing you a few different outfits that you can style with the Balance 550s. And yes, thank you so much for watching the video till the end guys. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button down there. If you guys are new here, please subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you think about the sneakers. Do you have any New Balance 550 in your collection yet or not? If you do, which colors do you have? And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.